Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral, the Zoe Chapel of the Life Cathedral. Sundays in the morning, two services, that is 7 to 9 and 10 to 12. And then Wednesdays from 6.30 to 8 in the evenings, 6.30 eight o'clock p.m. on Wednesdays. Now this, this morning, I, I, I'm, I want us to take a very sober reflection. And the reflection I want us to, uh, you know, I, I'm contemplating the life of Judas. Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed Jesus. And I'm looking critically at that person. And my lesson is taken from Matthew chapter 27, verse five. And I want to capture today as sweet but bitter prices. Sweet, but bitter prices. Sweet as in sweet like sugar, S W E E T, uh, but that's B U T. Prices, sweet but bitter prices. That is P R I C E S. That is the cost, sweet, but bitter cost. Now everybody knows the story of Judas, and no one would like to give him his child's name, Judas Iscariot, or something like that. Now the Bible says Judas. Everyone of us knows that Judas betrayed Jesus. But he just didn't betray Jesus for the sake of betrayal. But he betrayed Jesus for profit. The Bible says he arranged with the, with the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the high priests and all those hypocrites. He arranged with them to betray Jesus and for a profit. So he did it. Judas is no, why would I kill a man for? No, no, no. I have to profit from it. Why would I steal for profit? Why would I do this and thing? For profit. He doesn't do it for pleasure. For profit. It has to be profitable for him. He doesn't do it just for fancy. He does it for, for profit. And that's exactly what Judas did. For profit. Now, when, when Judas betrayed Jesus and he got the profit, the Bible says he got what he wanted. The, the people gave him the money. But the Bible says suddenly it dawned on him that what have I done? So the money that he had, the money that he had illegally acquired, the money that he had, he had, he had acquired through very, 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 I mean, wicked means, the money that he had selfishly acquired at the expense of somebody else's life, the monies that people have acquired at the expense of somebody's well-being, somebody's health, and money that has been acquired through pillaging coffers, money that had been acquired, it will be sweet. But guess what happened? It came to a time it was useless in the hands of Judas, and he threw it down. So he got the money, sweet. But in the end, the Bible says he hanged himself. In the end, he ended up in the gallows. In the end, he paid a price with his life. In the end, he was left with shame. In the end, he was left with nothing in his hands. So he stole, he killed, he robbed, all for the sake of, of gain, of wealth, material wealth. But in the end, how did he end up? I know of people, I mean, they, uh, I mean when I say I know of people, you, 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 may, you may engage in the sale of drugs, but in the end, if you don't pay a price, your child will pay a price. You may engage in stealing, you may engage in pillaging coffers of the nation, you may engage in every corrupt thing, you may engage in the killing of people. Human sacrifices for wealth. It will be sweet for a moment, but at the end, it will be bitter. You know what? The Bible says, look at how God puts it in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the Lord shall not depart from the mouth, but thou shalt meditate upon it, and study and do everything that is so in it. And in so doing, that we shall become prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. So guess what God is saying? There are some successful moves which are permanent. They are good. 
That means there is also bad success. So Judas got what he said he wanted. But in the end, he didn't want what he got. Judas had the sweet money in his hands. But it became a bitter pill for his life. And he ended up in the gallows. Why would you engage in all these things? In the end, to end up in prison. Or to end up letting your children, your children's children, all those things, walk through the alley of shame and bear the shame of your pilferage. You know what? There are choices in life. And some of those may look sweet from that for the now. But in the end, it will sting our tongues with a bile of bitterness we have never seen before. Make a choice. Let it be sweet, sweet, but not sweet and bitter in the end. The choice is yours. See you later.